the Hippo family are moving to the seaside, where their grandmother and grandfather live. Hippy is busy today. She must pack all her toys and boxes so they can be taken to the new house. Her brother G is also busy. G was feeling sad, but Hippy knows how to make him happy. Well done, G! You have put all the toys in the boxes! Let's take them downstairs! I will race you! Yes! The busiest person is Daddy Leo. He has so many things to carry, but only a few boxes to pack them in. Daddy Leo has finished packing, but now he has to carry them downstairs. But G is feeling cheeky. One more, one more! Oh gosh! Daddy hmm. Leo has still managed to hold all of the boxes. Dad, this is going to take a long time. Of course not. Your father is as strong as a lion. Rawr. Then one more box. Oh gosh. Mommy Josie and Dolly are looking at the boxes. The first one, the first one. Phew. Daddy Leo, you need to do some physical exercises. Your apple pie would be better for me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough room to put all these boxes in the car. We need to choose what we really need and the rest can wait. But what shall we do, Mommy? We need them all. Don't worry, the removal truck will bring the rest later. Now we need to choose the most important things that we need. What does it mean, important things? I know, I know! Me too, me too! We must take our toothbrushes so we can clean our teeth! You are right, Hippie! And my bicycle! Gee, your bicycle takes up a lot of space! It will have to wait until later! Mm. Gee, you can't brush your teeth with a bicycle! And how can we eat our food with a bicycle? I know! We will also need knives and forks and spoons! And some plates! And my pirate things! No, G, your pirate bits will also take up a lot of space! Great! But you can wear your pirate clothes! What about this as well? You can carry your sword and your gun! Pew pew! Let's hope that the police will not stop us, thinking we have a real pirate in the car! <laughs> Hippie loves to take photos with her camera. Okay, let us choose our special things. But mother, all my toys are special to me. I want to take them all. My things are also special, but we can wait for the removal truck to bring them. For now, I will only need to take one thing. Hippie's mother is a professional photographer and this is her favorite camera. The big black camera! What is her special item, Daddy Leo? I know what my special item is. Hippie's father is a traveler and also a writer and his item is his first printing press. Daddy Leo, you don't use that anymore. You replaced that with a computer. Yes, Hippie, you are right, but I wrote my first story on this and it is really special to me. Oh, okay. Now Hippie understands the importance of special things. I am taking my camera, but I also want to take my family album. They are very special to me and remind me of all our adventures together. That's a good choice, Hippie. What are you taking, G? My pirate things. Looks like you're ready to go, G. Grandma and Grandpa are already at the house waiting for the family. They are very happy to see them They're all. First. Who is there? A pirate! Ah! Ooh, a real pirate! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma pretends to be scared of pirates. We have missed you all so much! We are here now! You will not miss us anymore! We will live here until Dolly is older. We are not moving anymore. Oh no! No more adventures! But Hippie, there are lots of lovely and interesting things to see at the seaside! Look, I will show you! Oh wow! 
Let's take him up to the balcony. You can have a look around, and we can plan our adventures. Show me, show me. No, G, Grandpa gave them to me. Pippi wants to look first. But G, don't be sad. You are a pirate, and pirates use a spyglass. Yes, a spyglass. Come and have a look, G. Let's see what we have here. It's Grandfather's lighthouse. But what is it that I can see? I think it's a pirate ship. Well, it's okay. It's only Uncle Raccoon's cafe. I think we're going to have a lot of adventures at the seaside. What shall we do first? A pirate ship! Let's go! On board! mind playing a little bit quieter? But it is possible for G to be quiet? Pirates, pirates! You are right, Hippie, but you can play outside as well. Daddy Leo! Yes, children, would you mind playing a bit quieter, please? Dolly's crying disturbs me a lot. Hmm, from writing my stories. And your sister needs to have a nap now. Yes, Daddy Leo. Dolly really needs to have a nap. Would you be so kind to have a little break from your important task and spend some time at the seashore with Hippie okay, and Okay, it seems that Daddy should stop reading the newspaper. Okay, Mommy Josie, I can handle this. Children, pack up. We are going out to the seashore. Hooray! See! Out, out! Daddy Leo and the children are wandering through the seashore. It is so hot outside and it makes Daddy Leo sad. He doesn't want to be outside in such a hot weather. He wants to read his interesting oh, newspaper. Why is it so hot? Daddy, look! It's Granny over there! Granny! Hello, Granny! Hello, my darlings. But why are you without hats? It is so hot today. Hmm. It is not a big problem. Gee. Pirates! Daddy is making a bandana from the scarf. Now Hippie and G have hats. Wonderful! What are you doing? I am gathering seashells and stones and then I'll make bracelets and necklaces. Oh, I would also like to do it. Pippi likes bracelets and necklaces, but she doesn't. Boring. Daddy Leo, could I gather seashells with Granny? Of course you could. And we will also find something interesting to do. Daddy Leo, you are the only person without a hat now. This is not good. Don't worry, Granny. I will hide in some shadow. What a good place! Daddy is happy to be sitting in the shadow. He decides to read the newspaper, but G is bored. He wants to play. Daddy, I'm bored. Daddy is drawing a treasure map for G. Daddy Leo is a big dreamer. This is a real treasure map. Somewhere here, a pirate treasure is buried. Would you like to find it, G? Pippi is collecting seashells and G is looking for treasures. 
Mommy has also decided to have a walk. Whoops! Mommy has stumbled on the hole made by G. Everybody has stumbled on them. If only I knew who had done all these holes. Yeah, treasure! Now I understand what is going on here. Daddy was busy with his important task instead of looking after G. Mommy is angry because of that. Ahem. What has happened? Daddy Leo, that's how you look after children. Look, that's G's achievements. Oh, G, how dare you! Daddy Leo, G is not guilty. You had to look after them. And now it is your task to fill up all these holes. It is not comfortable for Daddy Leo to fill the holes up with the child shovel. And what to do now? G, Hippie, would you like to play a new interesting game? Yes, yeah. I would like! I will be the captain, hmm, Bold Baird. I have treasures which should be buried. You, G, will help me, okay? Buried! Well done, G. And you, Hippie, will be an important map maker. I like it! Daddy Leo has invented an interesting game. He throws coins into the holes, G fills them up, and Hippie writes out these places on the map. Daddy Leo and the children have buried a lot of coins. Now the seashore has turned into the treasure seashore. Today the weather is bad. Hippie and G are playing inside. Mom is reading an interesting book and the children are playing pirates. Pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Dolly is falling asleep. Everybody should be quiet now. Be quiet please, Dolly is falling asleep. But what could we play, Mommy? I don't think we know such games. I know who can help you. Could you take it, please? Give this book to Daddy, please, and ask him for some interesting but very quiet game for you. Daddy is working in his cabinet. There are a lot of interesting things here. The first one! Ooh! Daddy Leo, Mommy asked us to give you this book. Thank you, Hippie. Would you mind leaving it on the table, please? And she also said you could advise us an interesting but very quiet game. She really said that? Yes. Could you please advise us such a game that will not wake Dolly? Hmm. Let me think. The game must be very interesting and very quiet as well. Oh, secret hippo files. Sorry? This book is about secret hippo agents. They are fond of everything mysterious and unusual. Wow, so are we! Would you like to play secret agents? Yeah! Yes! You need to look like real secret agents. So what should we do, Daddy? Every secret agent has sunglasses, hat, secret agent ID card, gun, and flashlight. You need to find all the secret agent's things. T, keep it in mind, please. Glasses, hat, ID card, gun, and flashlight. Again! Wonderful! Here are your flashlights. Great! We already have two secret things. Will we find the rest? Almost forgot about the most important thing. Secret agents are always hiding and are very, very quiet, so not to reveal themselves. It is so exciting to play secret agents. Okay, now I can continue working. Children are looking for secret agents' things. Aha! Uh -huh. Hats! Agents! 
Parents. Secret one. <laughs> <laughs> Children need to find secret sunglasses. This is the place where mommy and daddy have their pairs of beach sunglasses. This shelf has mommy's perfumes only. Not that. And this shelf has only daddy's fishing tools. Again, not that. Sunglasses are in this shelf. And here are the glasses. So we have got guns, flashlights, hats, glasses. Where should we get secret agent's ID cards? I've got it! Gee, why don't you make a secret face? Ip is taking photos for the secret ID cards. Well done! Now we are real secret agents! Ip and G are playing secret agents. They are hiding and peeping. It is very interesting to look for something mysterious. But the living room doesn't have anything like that. But maybe there is something mysterious in the closet. No, absolutely nothing. Where could we find something unusual and mysterious? Take cover! Somebody is coming! Mommy Josie is carrying a big mysterious basket to the cellar. Look, G, once mommy carries something to the cellar, strange sounds are heard from there. Uh-oh. Hippy and G have finally found something mysterious. Have you heard it, G? There is certainly somebody living in the cellar. And mama is carrying him in the basket food. But who could it be? Ah! Kraken! Kraken lives in the sea. We don't have sea in the cellar. Phew! G, you shouldn't be afraid. Nothing could frighten secret agents. And we have flashlights. Let's go! Hippie and G are in the cellar now. They want to know who is the creature that mommy feeds. Nobody is here, G. Probably a secret mommy's beast was frightened of us and ran away. But who is here? Oh my god! Hey! Mommy! Are you okay, my darlings? Yes, Mommy, we're playing secret agents. Were you really frightened with an old washing machine? All secret agents are brave. They should not be afraid of. Oh, dear. Our daddy doesn't seem to be a secret agent. G is so happy today. Pippo family decided to visit Uncle Raccoon's cafe. This cafe looks like an old pirate ship. Even the pirate flag and guns are real here. G likes pirates so much. He has waited for so long and now he can't wait to step on board of a real pirate ship. G, wait! Don't set off without us! Daddy Leo jokes. Uncle Raccoon's cafe can't sail like a ship. The first! Everybody likes the idea to make the cafe in a pirate style. <laughs> Who is here on the board of my ship? Uncle Raccoon welcomes guests like a real pirate captain. That's me, Hippo Devilfish and the Terror of the Seas, Gene the Wind. Pippi made up the real pirate names for herself and G. And there are our parents and sister Dolly. Yo ho ho, bite me crab! Their rook is amongst real sailors! Daddy Leo and Mommy don't have pirate clothes. They don't look like real pirates. Yes, Uncle Raccoon, me and Mommy Josie are not sailors, but we want so much to become one. Sting me, Jelly! I am not Uncle Raccoon. Call me Strippy Drake. I am the captain of the ship Red Perch. The role of pirate captain suits Uncle Raccoon so much, so Daddy Leo decides to play with him. Uh-oh. Sorry, Strippy Drake. 
We thought you were Uncle Raccoon. What did I tell you, Rookies? Rookies! Oh, it seems like G has learned a new pirate word. Rookie is a sailor without experience. My name is Mary the Black Pan, and I am a sea cook here. Aunt Mary is a sea cook in the cafe. Sea cook is a chef at the ship. Everybody who wants to be a pirate needs to try a real pirate recipe. And what would you rookies like to order? Let's see. Hmm. Daddy Leo hmm. studies the pirate menu. I would like a pirate apple pie. Daddy Leo likes apple pie so much. Good choice. And I would like a pirate salad with sea cabbage. It is high time now for the pirate feast. I would like a pirate ice cream, please. And what would you like, G? Let's see. Ooh, G wants a big pirate cake. Ooh, I want a pirate cake too. Let's order this cake together. It is so big that everybody can have a piece. Pirates! G likes pirate cakes so much. Everybody likes cakes. While Aunt Mary is cooking the real pirate dishes, our cabin boy will give you a tour on our pirate ship. Hooray! This is Uncle Raccoon's son. He also likes to play pirates. Cabin boy is here, Captain. Hello, my name is Hippy, and this is my brother G. My name is Louie. I am a cabin boy. Great! Let's go. I must show you a lot of interesting things. Louie wants to show different, interesting, and ancient pirate things. This is an ancient pirate map. It was made by Captain Barbosa himself. There is a place in here where Barbosa hid his treasures. Treasures! treasures. This is a helm. I know, I know. Helm is like a steering wheel in the car. Hippie knows what the word helm means. Helm is a steering wheel used by pirates to run the ship. I would like to roll it. The first! Steering the helm, G looks like a real pirate captain. Right here, Captain G. Full ahead. This is our parrot, Rocket the Fun. He can say pastries. Pastries! 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 G, you are like a real pirate parrot. Pastries! 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 And this is the real claw of the Kraken. He lived there when we sailed across the Atlantic Ocean. Kraken! Kraken is a big imaginary octopus. Every real pirate believes in it. <laughs> Don't be afraid, G. These are only fairy tales. Kraken doesn't exist in real life. Crack me, pipefish. Who said that Kraken doesn't exist? It seems I need to teach you something. I, Strippy Drake, call you Kraken to come here. Uncle Raccoon turns on his unique device. Oh, what would it be? Real Kraken? But how could pew, Uncle pew. Raccoon manage to call it? Oh dear! Pew, pew. No, it's not a real Kraken, but a big balloon that looks like an octopus. Daddy Leo, keep calm. It is only a balloon. I am not afraid. Daddy Leo likes to behave like a lion. Rawr. But Daddy Leo is not a lion. And what would our little pirates like to order? Hooray! Mmm, after such a yummy pirate cake, even Dolly can become a real pirate.
Daddy Leo, Hippie and G want to visit Grandpa. Grandpa is a lighthouse keeper. His job is to look over the lighthouse and of course he knows a lot of interesting sea stories. The first one, the first one. Hello Grandpa, we came to visit you. Hello my darlings. Hello Daddy Leo. Hello Grandpa, I told children that you have a big lighthouse. And we want to see it now. Okay, my darlings, I can show you the lighthouse, and of course, I will explain how it works. Yes, yes hooray! hooray! Children go upstairs at the very top floor of the lighthouse. This is the most important room in the lighthouse. There is a main projector. Here it is. A projector is a huge lamp, which could light with such strength that anybody could see it from far away. This light shows the right direction for ships during nights and bad weather. Is it your big binoculars, Grandpa? Yes, Hippie. I used to watch over ships and warm them in case of danger. Could we try it, please? Of course you could. Yeah! yeah. Children could see a lot of ships through Grandpa's binoculars. This is a cargo ship. It delivers different goods from other countries. Oh, such a big ship! This is a yacht. It catches wind with its sails. Once, sails were used by pirate ships. Pirates! This is a warship. Warship is a ship created for military purposes. Pirates! No, see, they are not pirates. They are military. They protect us. And what is it? This is also a ship, but you can't see it because it is underwater. This is a special ship called Submarine. Submarine goes deep underwater, investigates the ocean, and looks for sunken pirate treasures. It is? This is a liner! We sailed in such a ship with Daddy, Mommy and G around the world! You are right, Hippie! This is a huge liner! It is for recreation and long journeys! Daddy also said that you know a lot of sea stories! Yes, I've been working at the lighthouse for a long time! I have managed to see a lot of interesting and mysterious things! Oh! Hmm, let me think. About the pirates? Of course, G. I will tell you the story about the flying devilfish. This was the name of a pirate ship full of treasures. There were enough treasures for a rich life of all the crew members. But the captain of the flying devilfish was a very greedy sea dog. His name was Wolf der Decken. He always wanted more and more. The crew asked him to stop and finally go to land, but he didn't listen to them. He said, Yo ho ho, nobody will land until we have the main deck full of treasures. Oh! And what has happened then? At that very moment, thick fog blanket the flying devilfish, and nobody could see neither the seashore nor other ships. Nobody knew where to sail and what to do, since the flying devilfish has been sailing lost in the thick fog. The greedy captain is still looking for treasures, and his team is still looking for seashore. But the pirate ship is forever blanketed with a thick fog, and it can never land. Ooh. Oh. And sometimes, when our bay is blanketed with thick fog, I seem to see the pale shape of a pirate ship. And in the wash of waves, I could hear the Captain Wolf, their Deccan, crying into the void. 
Yo ho ho! Where are ah! my treasures? Here you are, my darlings. Please help yourselves. These are fruits from our garden. Thank you, Granny. Grandpa, have you invented again a frightening sea story? Yeah, our grandpa is an amazing storyteller, as well as our daddy Leo. Oh, did you hear? What was it? Yo ho ho! Ah! Where are my treasures? <laughs> <laughs> Dolly is falling asleep. Hippie, she, and Daddy Leo decided to go for a walk to make the house quiet. Oh, it is so windy today. It is windy today. I don't think anybody likes to have a walk in such a windy Daddy, weather. and what game will we play today? Would you mind playing pirates? Pirates! No, please, Daddy, I don't want to play pirates. We have already played it a lot. Hippie wants to play another game. We could gather seashells and make necklaces. Boring. She doesn't like gathering seashells. Got it. Daddy Leo seems to have an idea. Would you like to play with a ball? But Daddy, is it possible to play in such a windy weather? The ball will be blown Game away. Game is called Ball and Wind. The ball will be blown away by the wind, and your task is to catch it. Who catches the ball more times will be the winner. I am the best. Daddy Leo always has a lot of ideas, and this time is not an exception. Gee, you're a fast boy, but I have caught it first. Uh. Gee, there is no use to be sad. This is only a game, and it's not over yet. Be ready. The second time is up to start. It is so exciting to catch a ball. Even Daddy Leo is in the game. Is there anybody who doesn't like catching a ball? Whoops! The ball was blown away into the sea. And what will happen now? No, darlings, a ball doesn't sink in the sea. It is lighter than water and will always remain on the surface. But what should we do, Daddy? Water is cold. We can't swim. How could we get our ball? There is no use to be sad because of that. The wind will change its direction soon and the ball will be at the seashore. The weather seems to have changed. It is not windy anymore. And how to get the ball? Mm, um, Daddy Leo is puzzled. What is it? What is it, Daddy? What is happening there? Daddy Leo seems to get what it was. Children, look! Oh my god! No. <laughs> No panic, please. Look over there. Oh, these are dolphins. Dolphins. Look, they want to play with us. Hippie, would you throw them our ball, please? is funny, but children are already tired. Daddy, I'm tired. Okay, Hippie, say thanks to the dolphins, but now we need to rest a bit. Thank you, dolphins. It was so fun to you. play with you. 
Dolphins also like this game. They thank using their dolphin's language. It is high time to have a snack. Hooray! Mommy chose his apple pie. Yeah, that very pie. Hi! Dolphins also want to try the apple pie. Daddy, let's share our pie with the dolphins. <laughs> Daddy, don't be greedy. There's enough pie for everyone. No, I am not greedy at all. I don't mind sharing the pie with the dolphins. We don't have any pie left for dolphins. We only have our slices left. But the dolphins want more. Okay, we can share more with them. But after we have a snack. Yeah, yes. amazing! From this day on, we will come here every day and feed our new friends. Dolphins like Hippie's idea. They like Mommy Josie's apple pie. Is there anyone on Earth who doesn't like Mommy Josie's apple pie? <laughs> <laughs>